Dear friends, welcome to AZ American Storytelling class. We have seen almost 13 stories uh, and this is the 13th story telling. So far we have seen around 10 short stories. We have come here to the 11th short story. Storytelling improves your communication. Storytelling tells you to present your idea logically, coherently and lucid style. So we in our institution train the students to tell the stories. So I request you young lady to come forward and tell me, see here is a story. The topic here is innocence. This is the 11th story. Totally we have 14 stories in this uh, 13th video. So 11th story is innocence. So read it out today. Today, um, so in the shorter story, hello, hello, uh, that top, you have to press it, top, uh, it's okay, you can press it top, mele, mele, the company, lighter, mele, lighter, throw it here, no, telling her, no, Hello. Hello. So we shall start the story. What's it given in a sense? Today, in the cutest voice, my eight-year-old daughter asked me to start recycling. Today, in the cutest voice, my eight-year-old daughter asked me to start recycling. What do you mean by recycling? Uh, they making use of the old waste things and making into new. Yeah. It is called recycling. Yes, I, I chuckled and asked. I chuckled why? and asked why. She replied. So you, she can, replied, oh. so you can help me save the planet. So the child says to the father, so you can save me, you can help me save the planet. So the child was asking about recycling and the father asks why and the child says uh, so oh. that he can help to save the planet. I yes. chuckled again and asked, and why do you want to save the I planet? I chuckled again and asked, why do you want to save the planet? Once again I asked, what is the purpose of you to save the planet? And because, the reply. because that's where I keep all my stuff, she said. Because that's where I keep all my stuff. So, this the future generation says, we need to save the planet. Because we older generation have to give a wonderful planet for them. So, all the recycling process, which we should do. This is what the moral of the story, number 12. Joy. Joy. Today, when I witnessed a 27-year-old breast cancer patient laughing hysterically at her. Today, to when I witnessed a 27-year-old breast cancer patient laughing hysterically at, at her two-year-old two daughter's old antics. Antics means what the actions. Hysterically means without not able to control her laughter. She was just laughing madly at her two-year-old daughter. I and suddenly realized that I need to stop complaining about my life. So I real I suddenly realized that I need to stop oh. complaining about, about my life. life. My and life, what I always complain that my father is not giving me pocket money, my mother is not helping me, that and this all silly, silly problems. Backpack and book. So today, a boy in a wheelchair saw me desperately struggling on crutches with my broken leg and offered to carry my backpack and books for me. So, wheelchair, one, so one student was there. He saw me uh, with a broken leg. I was carrying my backpack and books. So, he offered me to help. Yes. He helped me all the way across campus to my class. So, from all the way to class, he, ca he, he came with me and helped. And as he was leaving, he said, 
I hope you feel better As soon. As he was leaving, he told me, I hope you feel better soon. So what is the moral of the story? Wheelchair patient helping one other person who is insured. And uh, this says the moral uh, shows that the kindness which uh, all the people physically who are fit, they are not ready to help. Only the wheelchair patient has come and helped me. Next, Fairy. sharing. Today I was traveling in Kenya and I met a refugee from Zimbabwe. So today I was traveling in Kenya and I met a refugee from Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe, he has come to Kenya, yes. He said he hadn't eaten anything in over three days. Three days he has not eaten anything. And, he was and looked extremely skinny and He was and looking unhealthy. extremely skinny and unhealthy. Then my friend offered him the rest of the sandwich he was eating. My friend offered him the rest of the sandwich which he was eating. The the first thing the man said was, we can share it. The first thing the man sh said what said was, we, we can, can share, share it. it. So two refugees, a refugee uh, from one country, he is very lean and thin and is uh, not having food. And one other refugee offers him food, he says, let us share. Okay, come. Cheers. And now, cheers to life, dear friends. So far we have seen all these uh, philosophies, three philosophies. So what you are able to understand is all the kindness. And everything now we are coming here to the story number 14 video number 14 story stop being a glass become a, become a lake stop being a glass become a lake means what lake contains salt water or uh, drinking water it is drinking water only see you have salt water, salt water. river is a good water drinking, drinking water. water only in sea you have salt, salt water salt. so stop being a glass be a lake means uh, come out of your short mindedness don't think always my problem my problem come out into the world problems bigger the issues bigger the problems bigger the world open your eyes this is what the story is all about stop being a glass become because a lake what does it say once uh, once an unhappy young man came to an old master and told he had a very sad life and asked for a solution so one day one man came to his master old master came to old master and said his life was terrible and he wants a solution for this problem. So he asked the master, Master, could you tell me a solution for life? And the old master? The old master instructed the unhappy young man to put a handful of salt in a glass of water and then to drink it. So the old man, master, told take a little water, sorry, little salt and put it in a glass of water and drink it. So the old master told take a, just uh, some salt handful of salt and put it in the glass of water and drink how does it taste the master asked Rust. how does it taste terrible spat the apprentice terrible the spat the apprentice means the young man said no it is terrible i am unable to drink it yes the master chuckled and then asked the young man to take another handful of salt and put it in the lake master chuckled laughed and told okay gentle young man you take the same handful of salt which you have put in water, that amount of salt and take it and go to that lake over there. Put that salt into the lake and try to drink the water he told. Yes. Sir. The two walked in silence to the nearby lake and when the apprentice swirled his hand full of salt into the lake. So the apprentice, were, both of them went to the lake. He put the swirl, uh, salt in the lake and swirled. Uh, the the yeah. old man said, now drink from the lake. The old man said, now drink from the lake. At what? Down the young man's tree, the master asked, how does it taste? So as the water went through this and uh, he asked the master, asked, how is the water, how does it taste? Good, and remarked the apprentice. Apparently I said, wonderful, it tastes beautiful. Do, do you taste the salt? Master asked, asked did the you master. taste the salt? Hmm. No, said the young man. No, said the young man, no, I didn't taste no. the salt. So, what is the philosophy here? The master said. The master said, beside this troubled young man, looking his hands and said, the pain of life is pure salt. So, the master said, beside this troubled man, the young man, looking his hands and said, the, the pain, pain of, of life is pure, pure salt. salt. In life, the pains, problems, it is like salt. No more, no less. No more, no less. Only this much salt is there. Life's pains and problems are only this much handful. All the pains and problems are just a handful. The okay. amount of pain in life remains the same. The like amount of pain remains the same, handful of salt. Exactly the same. Exactly the same, no more or less. But the amount we taste the pain depends the amount on the, uh, uh, the amount we taste the pain. So how much we taste the pain? 
It depends on the container we put into. It depends on the container we put in into. So this man put the salt, so called the problem in the life in a glass of water. He tasted it, it was terrible. So he put the same problem in the lake and tasted it. No taste of salt, no problems in life was there. So, so when you are in pain. So when you are in pain, whenever you have problems, what do you do? The only thing you can do is enlarge your sense of things. So you can enlarge your sense of things. Stop, Stop being, being a glass, become a lake. Stop being a glass, become a lake. Stop being a glass, become a lake. What do you mean by this philosophy? Yes, young lady, what do you mean this philosophy? So whenever you have some problems, may, maybe in family or in your love relationship or in a business relationship, go bigger, think bigger. Don't go in for a small thing. When you are in a problem, problem is same. But when you live in a circumstances of a limited area, then it tastes bitter. But when the same problem, when you are in a, uh, in a completely in a you know different world, something bigger world, something bigger world, then the uh, pain won't be. Uh, you won't be able to taste that amount of pain which you were in earlier stage. So stop, stop being a glass and become a lake. Hope you are able to understand. Are you clear about it? Okay. Number three is American Angular Vahupula Kuravetirum Ungloria in the Kari Bustakangal Hirtukulungal Kari Hal Mulamaka Angular Til Sulwood and Mulamaka Ungal Angular Pulamaya main my particular innocent apaviana. So or Kolanda Siru Kolanda Tandayaram Sulikira the Tandayare Yanaki Ningle Obio put the Kudi in the plastic matra purut clay alarm. Marusula Chiseidu Ningle Obio put the vendum in Tandaya chuckled in the city to put a Kate Kira, Yadraka Kate Kira in the Anda Kolanda Sulikira the Nan in the Boomile Vala Vendum, Yenode Purut Kalanitum in the Boomile Rikira the Adu Padhapa Hirka Vendum, Akhial Yenode Boomi Padhapa Hirpataka Ningle Ubio put at the Kuri Anit Purut Kalium Marusura Chisay the Pine put at the Vendum Are the Angange Visi Vida the Irkalendre in the Karasul Hira the Adathe Joy Santosham Nan or Yerbutiel by the pin. Breast cancer in the Solira Kodia, Marbu Putunoya, Avadi Patrika Kodia or Pin, Yet the Nerthrum said to Budua and Bind the Hundrika Kodia, Thurna Three, Wand the Hundrika Kodia Pin, Hysterically Tanai Katupurta Mudyamal, Siri to Kondrika, Tanodi, Rendaway the Colon the Inodia, Antic Sentalina and the Nada, what I Bavanagalipata and the Rendaway the Colon the Ilmail, in the Thai Anaval, Yervatiel, why the Anna Thai, in the Marbu Putuno Yula Thai. Path the Siritu Kunde Rikirar. Ide path over an Enakena Thundrikira de Nan Udalaru Yamakirikir and Enaka Anitu Mirikira de Yirundalum Valki, Nan Kure Huri Kunde Rikirin, Yinimil in Valki, Nan Kondara Pokirin and Sulkira. And the Thai Kuno de Prechene, Upitu Parkirabo, the end Prechene, Wundrume, Ilay. Add to the kindness. Ore Yenode a call, Yelubu Murindu Vitade, Nan Kuchigle waiting under the Hundrikirin. Yenodi a Kaluri kitchen to Kundu Kirabo, the pin paye, solely summon the Kundu, Kayle Bustakatur and another Kundu Kirabo de Or Kal, Wunaman a Payan, Tanodi a Sakar and Arkali, even the Yen Bustakati, Payi, Mangi Kundu, Yenodi Palkalakatil, Nodi, Vahupu Kundu, and I went to it to Varigran. If they part Kirabo, the Yanaki, not only Gira than Dal, what a Laru Yamaka could ever go, whatever we say, will like Kal, Wunamaka could ever Yen Kal in Vadin Valley, Vedani, and in the Kundi and whatever we say here are. So Ide Molamaka and the Payan and the Kal Wunamana Payan, unless Sakar and Arkali, whether we say the Payan, Solhiran, Kudi, Vrevil, Nigulamaki, Vivayendri. So I don't know a Yerakatanate non, Machi, Paratigrin, Add the sharing into Pahindalika Kudia, Nan Urnal, Kenya will change to Kundirikabode, Jimbabwe in the Natalun, the one Arakal and Buhunda were Agadi Santitin, and the Akadiki and only a Nanban roti, Palanga like Kudutan. Sapu to Kunda, the Agadi Sulkira Nam, Pakindu Gulu Mindre, Ahe, Casta Vetan, Ekaratulum, Anathim, Pakindu Kalam, into Sola Kuria Tatu Mide, Adata, the Ur Siru Kari, Kari number, Padinangi, in the Kari in the Sulkira, the Ur Yellam Mani then, Yellam Mani then, Avan Ur Mahapiri, Prechen, Yuran Tanuri, a Guru, even the Nadi Iran, Yanakore, Prechen, Yakirikar, then Dre, Ur Asri Redom Marihiran, Vaidan Avar, and the Vaidana, Turavi, and the Sulkira. Nee, and the Sirvan I Pathe, and the Yelagan I Pathe, or Kayala Upe Ed to Kunde, or Tumbler Nere Taniril, Nalla the Nearle, and the Upe Port to Kurika Chulkira. 
அந்த இளைஞனும் ஓரளவு கையளவு இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த உப்பை எடுத்து ஒரு கிளாஸ் நிறையாக டம்ளரில் தண்ணீரில் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த டம்ளரில் அந்த உப்பை போட்டு கலக்கி குடிக்கிறான் மிக மிக ஒரு உப்பு கறிக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு தன்மையிலே அந்த குடிக்க முடியாத தன்மையிலே அந்த தண்ணீர் இருக்கிறது என்று அந்த இளைஞன் அந்த ஆசிரியரிடம் சொல்ல ஆசிரியர் அந்த குரு என்ன சொல்கிறார் அதே கையளவு அதே அளவு உப்பை எடுத்துக்கொண்டு அங்கே பக்கத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த ஏரி தண்ணியிலே குடிய போய் கலக்க சொல்கிறார் ஆக இரண்டு பேரும் குருவும் அந்த சிஷ்யனும் அந்த ஆற்று அந்த கரைக்கு அந்த ஏரி கரைக்கு சென்று அந்த ஏரியிலே அந்த கையளவு உப்பு அந்த கிளாஸில் போட்ட அதே அளவு உப்பை அந்த ஏரியிலே கரைத்து இப்பொழுது அந்த குரு சொல்கிறார் அந்த மாணவனிடம் நீ தண்ணீரை டம்ளரில் எடுத்துக்கூடி என்று சொல்ல அல்ல கையளவு எடுத்துக்கூடி என்று சொல்ல இந்த மாணவனும் கையளவு எடுத்து குடிக்க அந்த ருசி நன்றாக இருக்கிறது மிக பிரமாதமாக இருக்கிறது உப்பு கறிக்கவே இல்லை ஆக ஆசிரியர் சொல்கிறார் சிறு டம்ளரிலே அந்தளவு உப்பை கரைத்து குடிக்கிற பொழுது நீ குடிக்க முடியாமல் அவதிப்பட்டாய் அதே கையளவு உப்பை ஆற்று அல்லது ஏரி குளத்திலே கரைத்து குடிக்கிற பொழுது உனக்கு அந்த உப்பு அந்த தன்மை தெரியவில்லை ஆக வாழ்க்கை என்பது இதுதான் வாழ்க்கை என்பது பிரச்சனைகள் என்பது கையளவு கொண்ட உப்பை பொறுத்து ஆனால் நீ என்ன மாதிரி வாழ்க்கையிலே வாழ்ந்து குறுகிய வாழ்க்கையில் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிற பொழுது வேதனையும் கஷ்டமும் மிகுதியாக இருக்கும் அதே உன் வாழ்க்கையை நீ மிகைப்படுத்தி பெரிதுபடுத்தி பல தொழில்கள் பல வேலைகள் என்று நீ உலகத்தை மிக வேறொரு கண்ணோட்டத்தில் வேலை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிற பொழுது அந்த பிரச்சனை ஒன்றுமில்லாத பிரச்சனையாக மாறிவிடும் என்று சொல்கிறார் இந்த கருத்து என்ன என்றால் சிறு பிரச்சனை பிரச்சனைகள் அனைவருக்கும் ஒன்றுதான் ஆனால் நீ வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய உலகம் சிறு உலகத்தில் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிற பொழுது அது வேதனையாக தெரியும் அதே இது பெரிய உலகத்திலே வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிற பொழுது அந்த கஷ்டம் வேதனையும் ஒன்றுமே இல்லாமல் ஆகிவிடும் ஆக பிரச்சனைகளை என்பது என்ன என்று பார்க்கிற பொழுது நீங்கள் குறுகிய உலகத்தில் வாழ்கிற பொழுது அனைத்தும் பிரச்சனைகளாக இருக்கும் பெரிய உலகத்தில் வாழ்கிற பொழுது அந்த பிரச்சனைகளுக்கு எந்த விதமான முக்கியத்துவமும் இல்லாமல் போய்விடும் என்பது தான் இந்த கதையினுடைய கத் தத்துவம் இனி அடுத்து வரக்கூடிய வீடியோக்களில் மற்றவைகளை பார்ப்போம் தேங்க்யூ வெரி